Welcome to the third app in our course. I'm really excited about this app because we're going to be building a pretty cool React Native app with your own backend powered by Meteor. First to show you uh, what we're going to be putting together, this is just a picture of it. Um, so basically this is a uh, Pokemon app which displays images of Pokemon located at longitude and latitude coordinates that we have stored in our own MongoDB database. It's pretty simple. It basically just allows you to add Pokemon to the screen or subtract Pokemon to the screen, but this is all connected and synced up with our database. Um, and whenever we add a Pokemon to the screen, it's basically we're, we're going to make it so that we can get the location on our map and then set the Pokemon somewhere in that vicinity so it's constantly just adding them around. Uh, now, it's not going to be, you know, it's not like we're tying this to the Pokemon. Go database or anything. Maybe if you have access to that, you could do something like that. Um, but for the purpose of this project, this is just supposed to be a fun learning project. Uh, so we're going to make it nice and simple. We're also going to be going to uh, developing a uh, login system um, with Meteor, uh, which is also exciting. So you'll be able to log into this app and then start using it. And if you if you're not logged in, you won't be able to use it, which is which is a pretty cool feature. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Meteor is a powerful front-end and back-end JavaScript framework, which is uh, powered on the back-end by Node.js. Uh, it allows us to build out server code and uh, a database with MongoDB pretty quickly uh, and efficiently, so it's going to be great for this project uh, that we're using with React Native. Um, I'm not sure too many people have talked about Meteor and React Native. Those who have definitely have not uh, talked about uh, React Native Expo with Meteor, at least to any um, you know, great extent. So I'm super excited to present this tutorial. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is install Meteor on our computer. I already have Meteor installed. Um, if you are on Windows, uh, just go to the Meteor website uh, and download the installer. You just got to click through a few things and hit install. It's pretty easy. If you're on OS X or Linux, uh, just copy out this link put it inside your terminal, and then just hit enter and run it. I already have Meteor on my uh, computer installed, so I'm not going to do that. But just to make sure that you have it installed when it's all said and done, all you have to do is say Meteor dash dash version. As you can see, I was already testing it up above here. Um, and if your version is out of date, it'll go and seek out the new version and download it. But if it's not, it'll uh, take a second to, to return back Meteor 1.5, which is the uh, latest version of Meteor. Okay, so... Um, once you have Meteor installed, we're gonna we're not gonna do a whole lot in this video, but I do want to get something started up somewhere on your computer. I'm gonna put it in my course videos folder, but somewhere on your computer, you're gonna want to create a folder, and we're gonna call this PokeMap because that's gonna be the name of our uh, app. And inside this PokeMap, you're gonna put two things. You're gonna put the uh, Expo React Native project and you're going to put the Meteor project. We'll start handling that in the uh, upcoming videos though, um, but just make sure you do have a project folder called Pokemap or something like that set up already on your computer, uh, you know, good to go so that the next couple videos here can uh, start flying by. All right, see you then.